Good morning, y'all. This is Amalia back with another video. And today I am launching a series of videos in which I will be sharing with you some of my... Excuse me. Ooh. <laughs> some of my best poetry. Um, unfortunately, a lot of the work that I've written throughout my life has been lost. Um, one, mostly in part due to a, te a technological failure on a flash drive, it deleted everything I've ever written, including a half-written book. Um, that was a long, long time ago, though. And I also lost a lot of my stuff through moves, because up until now, I, you know, up until like a year and a half ago, I have been moving, I've moved a lot in my life. I've actually moved on average <clears throat> about two times a year on average sometimes three sometimes four but on average it's two year, two times a year um so i've lost a lot of things in the process and this is all that i have left i have everything written in this book here um it's starting to fall apart so i've actually got a new book and i'm i've been uh recording all my poetry in calligraphy i'm still not awesome at it but um i haven't got enough practice in so I will be transferring these poems to the new book once I get a new calligraphy pen. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mama gotta have a copy. So today I want to share with you guys one of my poems. <clears throat> it's not the rhymey poem in the typical sense. It's just a really beautiful piece of writing that means a lot to me. <clears throat> Excuse me. I can yet recall that frigid winter night on which I found myself there in the pale moonlight. My shadow, my ghost, my long lost self, whom I had tried to bury all those years ago when I was young and naive. For so long I had muffled my voice and sealed myself away. I took on a role that I did not understand. I adopted an identity that was not my own. For the sake of people who cared nothing for me, nor did they know me by my name. Like a ram led to the pyre, I foolishly and blindly followed suit, and did as I was told. I had no voice of my own. No longer will I remain silent. I refuse to be sacrificed. I will mo not simply lay down and die. My words shall be heard and my torment made known. Over the mountains and across the fjords, I shall be heard. From the briny sea to the shining shores and boundless blue sky, my name shall be spoken and it shall fall upon glad ears eager to receive it. No love has been more complex, nor have I fought so hard for another's love as I have for that of my own. There is no harder thing to do than to love oneself. Written by Emilia Tanya Jo Olden Stotier on February 21st, 2019. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Love yourselves and be kind to each other. Bye.